First things first, you always want to start with an eyeshadow base. You always want to apply eyeshadow base. Now I'm going to take this palette as a demonstration for this tutorial. I'm going to take the shade WOS and I'm applying that all over the lid. Reason being is because I want my eyeshadows to blend very well. I don't want my eyeshadow to skip while I have a sticky base as the first thing. So now I'm going to take this crease shade or how they say it now is a transition shade and you see here that I took this blending brush from wet and wild and I'm just going back and forth motions into my crease area you always want to make sure you know where your crease is because you don't want to apply the transition shade in a different place so make sure you feel that little bone right where above your eyelid or your eyeball so you kind of see where I'm tapping at. That's where my crease is at. So you want to make sure you want to find yours. If you don't have one and it's hard to find it, just feel the bone and you'll know exactly where it's at. So now I'm going to show you guys how to blend doing the V shape. So that's another way to blend if you want to just add any shade to your outer eye. And now I'm taking this brown shade with my taper brush from Coastal Sense and I'm picking up a little bit of product because I want to show you guys how to gradually escalate to a soft smoky eye. So I'm doing the V shape that I showed you earlier and you can do this with any type of eyeshadow. If it comes to orange eyeshadows, browns, I won't say black unless you pick up a very teeny tiny amount but you can do this with any eyeshadow and this is perfect for any look you can do this for anything so you see how I did the outer corner and whatever product that I have left over I gradually go into the crease area with it now I'm gonna show you how you do it with the black eyeshadow so I take this brush from Morphe and I created a V shape I drew a V shape in my outer eye and I kind of blend it out but I feel that it's not enough blending so I take more of a fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics and I just do circular motions because I want it to diffuse in my outer eye. I don't want it to be too black. I don't want it to I don't want it to be too deep. So if you're not that kind of a person that likes that kind of look, you could just use a fluffy brush. That's the best thing to do. Now for the eyelid, I just take this shade, this really light shade and I just tap it into my onto my eye, not in my eye, but onto my eyelid. You can use a brush to apply your eyeshadow or you can use your ring finger and just dab it onto your eyelid. I just feel that it warms the product and it's, it's great when it comes to shimmer eyeshadows. But for this one, I'm using a brush. And I go back with a lighter shade from the palette and I apply that onto the lid because I felt like it was just it was kind of flat so I wanted my eyelids to pop so if you're not quite satisfied with the look that you just did or you feel like there's more blending to do then just go back and blend it out I added a bit more black because I like that kind of look I like more of a dramatic so this is just simple I mean it might not be simple for a lot of people but you'll get there you you just have to practice and practice makes perfect and i believe that also don't forget this is optional you can have a transition shade in your lower lash line if you want if not you can leave it bare and then just apply mascara and this is the finished look guys i hope you learn something from this video i hope you did because this is my way of blending let me know in the comments down below if this was easy for you to understand if you're gonna try this method let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys